The wait is over, Nick. Here you go. This video was requested by Nick from Nick's Toy Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bobcat flatbed truck with the two Bobcat loaders and the two Bobcat mini excavators. This was manufactured by... I just want to make sure I say this correctly. Wong Ho Industrial Company. Not making that up. But this was available from the uh, Bobcat dealers in the mid-2000s. So opening up this really huge box, and again, because it houses in total five different 150th scale models, so, I mean, it's quite sizable. You take it out, and... Uh, just housed in styrofoam, as you can see. Move the plastic cover. Put that down. First thing we'll take out is the tractor portion of the tractor trailer. There's the truck. And really, the best way to really review this is just to do it in parts. There is a lot of material that protects these, which is good. <clears throat> so taking a look at the truck as a whole, it does clip in by the fifth wheel without an issue. The truck itself is mostly metal, but there is a lot of plastic components used. As you can see, the wheels are not of the highest quality in terms of detail. Uh, really, this is a beginner's collector's item by any stretch of the imagination. The deck is simulated wood, which is plastic, but the main part, of course, is metal. There's an extra wheel underneath. That does fold down so you can put the uh, trailer in a stationary position. And the last really good feature about the trailer, at least I think, is some nice DOT striping. But there's the trailer. A closer look at the truck. Again, you can see there's a lot of plastic components used. No steering, no doors open. Um, but it does feature the Bobcat and Ingersoll Ram logo with uh, Swiner ND. This wine or North Dakota, I'm presuming. On the front, if you couldn't already tell just by looking at a truck, it is a Freightliner. I'm not exactly sure what model it is, but uh, it does have the Freightliner logo embossed up here on the casting, which you can't really see that well, but it is there. So there's the truck. Now it comes with four different Bobcat machines, two of each. They're the same thing. Um, two of these 325 mini excavators, which we'll take a look at here. Functionality is decent on this. It is mostly a die cast metal casting. The dozer push blade on the front is in the upright position. It is stationary. It doesn't work. The counterpart looks great with some nice, I'm sorry, the counterweight looks great with some nice graphics and paint. And inside the operator's compartment, again, you can barely see because it's all black, but there is a couple simulated controls for joysticks. Does it fold up tight for transport mode? I would say no, because the boom and the stick are really sort of intertwined into one piece, so it limits your posing opportunities there. And the rotation is extremely stiff, but it will rotate 360 degrees, so there's the 325 mini excavator. The other machine that it comes with is an S175 standard Bobcat skid steer. <clears throat> Again, not the greatest functionality, but... The height that it can achieve is rather decent. I don't really have a 150 scale dump truck over here at the moment to compare it to, but I would say that it's probably not high enough to clear most sides of American sided dump trucks. European low sided trucks, I'm sure, is a much different story. The cut angle is fantastic, as you can see there. On the back, a nice Bobcat logo. And it's pretty much the same on the other side. So there you go, Nick. Sorry it took me so long to uh, get this video out for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, guys, I'm assuming most of you have seen the video I posted yesterday for the collection update teaser, just to provide just a little bit more information on that. Uh, when I get the new place that I'm working on getting, there will be an opportunity for me to actually lay out all of my models um, on shelves out of the packaging so you'll be able to see everything. But in the meantime, like I mentioned in the previous video, if you saw something that you in that video that you wanted to see reviewed, um, I don't have an issue with doing, doing that at all, so just shoot me a message or a comment. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.